Hey everyone, Will here from Mature Minded Gamers, and today we're going to be taking a look at Alter Quest, the first four. This was a expansion for Alter Quest from Blacklist Games. Um, I've really enjoyed Alter Quest so far, and this is actually the first time I'm going to be uh, opening this up and kind of taking a look at the contents. So you know what, I thought we'd just go ahead and do this together and uh, explore what we're getting with the first four. Alright, so once you open it up out of the box, you notice that you actually get this nice little tray that everything comes in out of the box here. You also have a series of tokens that are included as well with the different characters, as well as a little bit of a story for what is going on, who these characters are, and some uh, expansion overview, the contents, and uh, credits for the design. So pretty cool, pretty cool little tokens as well. This, uh, this holder is actually pretty decent. I like the fact that it holds not only all the cards, but also the characters as well. You've got the, uh, the dividers here, and you've got uh, packs of cards for who these characters are, what they're going to do, their abilities. And then, of course, we've got the models themselves. What do you guys think of those sculpts? Like the, like the, was it like a trident or a four staff? Pretty cool. Got a little bit of a, like a halfling here. Crossbow. That's pretty neat. Dig it. Got like a bard or the musician here. I like the focus. There we go. I like that as well. That's pretty sweet. And then we've got a hero with a great sword, two handed great sword here. The sculpts are actually pretty decent. I like the detail. I think they've done a pretty good job with the detail in these models. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at these cards and learn more about the heroes and their abilities. All right, so first off, we're going to talk about Willow Banks. She is the more of the bard slash musician. It, comes, it does come with a setup card. Create a supply of 12 melody tokens near your play area. When a melody token is this card, is returned to supply. When resolving the rune effect in their cards, heroes may treat each melody token in their hero character card as it was a matching rune in the altar pool. That's pretty awesome. After resolving a rune effect, a hero must either discard a melody token or roll a matching altar die in the altar pool. When a rune effect in an enemy card would resolve, the heroes may prevent it by discarding a melody token from the enemy card. In this case, the rune effect is not resolved and the altar dice is not rolled. Very cool. So you can exhaust the wind rune. Place one melody token on a hero character card or enemy. So not really an action. Got some decent stats here. Lots of health, some armor there. Very cool. Art is actually pretty decent. Love the coloring and everything. I think the uh, I think the art in this game is actually really amazing. So let's start talking about the uh, starting equipment for Willow Banks. We've got Burry Loot. Equipment trinket, you can action, you can test for each success, place one melody token on an enemy card or hero character card. You can exhaust a water rune, choose a hero within range to gain two focus. And then you get the slingshot, it's an attack action, exhaust the wind rune, deal one damage to an enemy within range. So, very cool, very cool indeed. All right, so we've got some cards such as Battle Hymn. We've got Inspiring Chorus. We've got Lingering Melody. We have Rousing Finale. Braving the Dark. A Merry Minstrel. A Song of Val Violent Valor. And verse of diversion. So it's all about the different songs and the inspiration you can you can cast on another character, even yourself. Got some pretty decent upgrade cards: battle hymn, inspiring chorus, lingering melody upgrade, rousing finale, braving the dark, a merry minstrel, a song of violent valor, and verse of diversion upgrade versions. So very cool character. 
Willow Banks. What do you guys think? Is this a character that you would play, that you do play? I'd love to hear again your thoughts in the comments below. Next up, we're going to be talking about Gavin Ulrich. Inspiring leadership. Exhaust the diamond rune here. Choose a hero within range to gain an inspiration. And then we've got no setup card for him because we've got the Sword of Ulrich. Cannot equip an offhand card. And then action, attack, exhaust, fire. Deal one damage to an enemy within range. And then he's got a trinket. Exhaust after hero within range rolls dice for a test. They may discard one inspiration to add uh, to the result. So each hero within range gains one inspiration. So very cool starting equipment for Gavin. We've got leading the charge, lead by example. And these are three of each of these as for the standard cards, just like the core. Valiant Stand, Sacred Ground, Light of Illuminori, Stalwart Commander, Devout Leader, and Shielded by Faith. So very cool, very cool. Digging this character already, he's more like the Lord Commander, if you will. So Leading the Charge Upgrade, Lead by Example Upgrade, Violent Stand, Sacred Ground, Light of Illuminori, Stalwart Commander, Devouted Leader, and Shielded by Faith. So those are the upgrades for Gavin Ulrich. So next up we're going to be talking about Karen Herrick. We got her reference card here. So we can exhaust the diamond rune, place one snare in an empty space within range. She's more like the hunter character. Got a setup. Create a supply of five snare tokens. Each space contain one snare token each time an enemy moves to a space or is placed into a space containing one of your snare tokens. You may immediately reveal a card from your hand and resolve its trip effect. Then discard that snare token from the board. Trip. The effects always target the enemy that triggered the effect unless otherwise specified. If you place a snare token while none remain in supply, you may remove any snare token from the board to place it. Very cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So the starting equipment we've got, and we've got Kraz's Cross Shot. That's a crossbow. Then we've got Karen's Farseer. So Cross Shot, Action, Attack, then either, it can basically do an attack, then either discard one focus or exhaust this card. And uh, then we've got Exhaust the Diamond Rune, gain a focus. We can exhaust the Farseer, choose a hero to gain one focus. We can exhaust the wind to choose a figure within range to move up to two spaces. All right, so we've got as very Huntress-esque, lying in wait, exploring or exploiting strike, preparations, surveying the prey, cunning maneuver, Hunter's Instincts, Tactical Hunter, Expert Tracker. So those would be the, the standard cards. Again, very much a Hunter type character. The upgrades being Lying in Wait, Exploiting Strike, Preparations, Surveying the Prey, Cunning Maneuver, Hunter's Instincts, Tactical Hunter, and Expert Tracker. Man, she seems like a fun ranged character to play. I, uh, I would really, really... I think that so far she's the one I'm, I'm most excited about, to be honest with you. So next up, last but not least, we've got Aveth Namora, Adaptive Strategy, Exhaust the Water. Discard the top card of your deck. If it is a martial card, gain one armor token. If it's an arcane card, deal one damage to an enemy within range. We've got the Elvani... Trident, so yep, it was a trident. You cannot equip an offhand card, action attack, exhaust diamond, deal one damage, one damage to an enemy within range. Then when you've got the tomb, exhaust one or exhaust, discard one card and draw one card, discard one card, draw one card, and exhaust, uh, choose a hero within range to draw a card. That's pretty cool. Support style, style character there. We've got a swift strike. We've got a Might Through Magic. I love the art of that card. Mind Over Body. Enchanted Weapon. Hydro Blast. Discerning Eye. Tales of Heroism. Runus Manipulation. Oh, 
very cool, very cool. Kind of like a, a close-up fighting wizard. That's pretty awesome. So Swift Strike, you got Might Through Magic, Mind Over Body, Enchanted Weapons, Hydro Blast, Discerning Eye, Tales of Heroism, and Runic Manipulation. So it seems like a fun character as well. I think the first four are actually uh, some of the best four uh, that I've seen so far. I like these characters. I think they're going to be fun to play, and I actually cannot wait to get them to the table. And that was Alter Quest, the first four, an expansion by Adam and Brady Sadler from Blacklist Games. All right, this has been Will from Mature Minded Gamers. Be sure to check out all of our other great content on MatureMindedGamers.com. We do video games, board games, and so much more. We would love to have you join us on our Discord as well. So please hit the like and subscribe button. Join us on the journey into madness in AlterQuest. Again, this has been Will from Mature Minded Gamers. Until next time, everyone, take care.